Hello everybody, this is Budridge and um, yeah, let's continue our BWP wallpaper manager. Um, and we, we continue where we left off in the last video. Mm, where, uh, where we created like the, the base of, of our uh, script here. We have to do something important uh, first and foremost. Um, we set this environment variable at the top, uh, and this is uh, this BWP deal uh, is uh, where we want to to have our uh, image files and and yeah, you can think of it like the library. And no matter which uh, function we 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 want to or action we want to take with the script. We, we will always uh, need the library to exist and uh, in one way also this walls directory is the actual library the walls directory will, will always contain all images uh, but the uh, locks and blurs may continue fewer Wh whatever the walls directory is important um, I don't uh, feel like like using that as uh, in in the environment variable. I don't want to have this. Uh, instead, we, we create a, a global variable here in the main function that I call uh, wd, which is equal to bwp dir slash walls. And then uh, we make a little test. If this directory exists, uh, wdir, or create that directory. And we could also print a little message saying that uh, bwd, bwp did didn't exist created w did right because now um, it doesn't exist if we go back here in the to the temp directory here you can see it doesn't exist here uh, if we execute the script bwp no option no action no woman no cry doesn't do anything you know it needs uh, one of the options so let's give it one of the options um, w whatever and there now it we got the message here bwp didn't exist created home but dmp bwp walls there it is and it also have this walls directory currently completely empty uh, if we execute the command again same arguments we don't get that message you know because now it never enters this thing okay um, we also now should probably populate this uh, library a bit with, with some files. So I'm thinking, let's start with this uh, add new image to library uh, option function action thing. Uh, let's uh, or no, let's remove this echoing stuff here. Okay, so if yeah, here we can see I didn't clean this up. Um, I've already tested some stuff here. Uh, so if OA, meaning the, the, the option, the command line option A is present, it will set OA to 1. And if that is true here, then we execute this function here, add to library, and we pass dollar $star, meaning all arguments as one single string, meaning they will be like one argument. I, I don't know. It's it's not super important that we do it like that, but whatever. So let's just create that function here. Add to library. There. Echo. You want to add. Dollar one. And then we can execute here. A. Let's add this stuff. And there it says you want to add let's add this stuff and here you can see dollar one here is uh, uh, is this 
all arguments as one single argument here. That, that, that's what you get when you do this. And the only reason here, the only benefit of it really is that then we could write a, a, a a path to a file with spaces inside of it without escaping them and stuff, but whatever. Uh, uh, uh. And adding a file to the library, uh, it means that uh, we dollar uh, one have to be a file. Maybe even more specific, it have to be an image file. Let's say a JPEG or a ping. Um, it will then. Uh, add that file to the walls directory here uh, and resize it to the same dimensions as my screen resolution. Uh, to resize an image, uh, I have to cheat a bit here, look at my, uh, 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 is it this, yes, here is this long weird command, convert, which is um, uh, part of image magic or, or what it is really th this is a bit strange it's not I don't see this often <coughs> let's just tidy up this command a bit so it's more readable uh, this so convert here we do type convert it says convert is, yeah, it's a binary, okay, in, in user bin, but it is actually not uh, a, a binary, it's a sim link. Uh, we could do this uh, read link there, and there we can see the link goes to magic. So there is a, that's the actual binary, uh, and this is image magic's, uh, yeah, the command to execute image magic, but for some reason they also created some sim links to the same command uh, because no one remembers how to spell magic you know so convert uh, can convert an image you, you add an input image and an output image and then some options to it and this uh, in this case here it resizes the image then you give it the, the, the width x height don't remember what this carrot here does but whatever uh, gravity center uh, extent with height. I, I don't really remember, but this kind of grows the image. It makes it so that uh, the image will be uh, as small as possible, but still cover the whole screen without losing the aspect ratio. I don't know if you follow there, but that's how it works. And it will. Uh, try to keep the center of the image uh, in its original size. The center will be the center of the new resized image. Most of the time it will just be like a normal res resize. But if you have a, a, an image in a weird dimension, like maybe a, a vertical portrait uh, format image and, and you convert it in this way to a landscape image, then it will, um, yeah, you will get interesting results. But what I really like is that it keeps the aspect ratio, and I, I like that. I, I rather have it like that, so you don't, so it don't ac actually fit the whole image in the screen. Uh, but uh, but the aspect ratio remains, so you don't get like these weird uh, twisted proportions and stuff. So, SRC TRG input output, and the input is of course dollar one here. So let's create a local variable here called src is equal to dollar one. Then of course um, maybe we don't have to do that. Let's see if I have it here. Maybe I don't remember. I uh, don't even know what's going on here. Whatever. Um, let's let's make sure that that it actually is a file. Like for example here when I added. Uh, let's add this stuff this is not a file and if it's not a file then we shouldn't do any weird uh, image magic stuff to to a non-existing file we could get undesired results so uh, if src is not the file or um, erx exit the script and print an error message uh, src is not a file abort maybe not a 
support. Okay, so there we can test it again here with this stupid line here. Let's add this stuff is not a file. Correct. Um, maybe we could put this inside single quotes makes it even more. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. But if it is a file, then we want to convert it. Uh, uh, and uh, the output file, trg here, I named it in, in my old script. Let, let's keep that that thing. And trg will be uh, wd, you know, uh, slash file name. So local trg is equal to <coughs> file name. And file name is the file name of the source file, meaning it's a source file without the directory. And we could uh, do some quick and dirty uh, bash variable trimming thingy here. So this will be this will remove everything from the be beginning of the string src uh, up until the last slash, and that means uh, th this will be the file name of src. Uh, append that to wd slash and we get the target file excellent Then we also need these dimensions here and here I have used my good old uh, program i3 list uh, This of course means that we need with this by the way this whole bwp thing here uh, It will it will use a lot of external programs for example image magic here and now I will also use i3 list. You could use something else, just or even hard code the variables. Um, maybe we should do that. Let, let, let's do it here. This is how i3 list works. I have shown you this before, but i3 list, if you just execute the command, it prints like this uh, array, but it is not, it, this is just output. Uh, and uh, uh, with different information about the i3 session. Lot of, lot of stuff here, but uh, uh, here we can see uh, active workspace uh, uh, width, for example, and active workspace height and stuff like that. And that is what we will use to determine the, the, the screen resolution. There are many other ways to, to find out that information, but why not use my own little thing here? Um, and, and I have written this i3 list specifically to be used inside bash scripts. Because then you can do this. Um, first declare an associative array called i3 list. Because you can see th that's the name of this uh, sevdo array here kind of. And when we have declared that like that we can just eval the output of i3 list. And that will create this array populated with the values here. And then we will have the uh, workspace width and uh, yeah, W, where was it? Here, I3 list WAW is active workspace width and WAH is act active workspace height. So we could copy to make it even more uh, clear here. Um, can create some other variables maybe or why not use it like this because this also when we declare it here uh, this array in our main function it will be like a global array now that is available uh, in other functions as well so so now this will actually work it it, it will have this uh, information that it needs here and we have the target I will not go into any details about I image magic I don't know it super well but it's it, it's uh, quite straightforward uh, i know uh, luke smith which i guess all of you know uh, have made a, a lot of great uh, image magic videos if you want to know more about how it works and what you can do with it but this will just resize uh, uh, an image and if we would have um, we could specify like uh, a specific uh, extension here then it would also convert it to to from if, if source is JPEG and TRG is ping, then it would convert it for us. But 
I thought let's try not to do that this time. Let's uh, let's try to fix some of the things that were uh, not working perfectly in my i3 lock script. Whatever, let's try this now. I have some wallpapers here that we can try to use. Let's take this uh, sleep weedians uh, guy here and we have this bwpa then we add a file here and that we now uh, see yeah this file exists it should create the target variable and then resize it and everything for us now uh, these images i know they are already in the right uh, uh, dimensions which will not really resize it but uh, that doesn't matter there we can see took some time it actually took one second here that feels like a really long time but whatever it worked right 1.6 megabyte should be exactly the same yeah so it just moved it here okay now we got a way to add images to to the library um, we could if we wanted to uh, make it possible to add multiple files here uh, with the A option if we want to. We could also make it possible to add a directory and then loop that and stuff. But I thought let's just skip that and if, if uh, we want to add multiple files then we can use something like uh, find. I have prepared a find uh, command here. It's, it's a quick and dirty one but it will work. So this will list all files inside this directory and uh, subdirectories, but there are no subdirectories. So it, it will list all files here. You could of course fine tune this to only list the pings and JPEGs and stuff, but whatever, I know that it is only images here. Then I pipe that to XORG, uh, which in turn execute uh, BWP for every uh, uh, entry here. And execute BWP with A option. This, you know, I, uh, means that replace uh, uh, these uh, uh, curly braces with the current entry in the list or whatever. Whatever, this, we, this should add these files to the library. We could open the directory here. Here also, can your ranger, can it do this? Probably crash now. God damn, it feels really slow now, but I guess that's because I'm using convert here and of it's okay, you know, this is not something that you do uh, uh, adding a, bun, a, a whole lot of files. That's something you, you shouldn't have to do more than a couple of times in, in, in your life, basically. Then you will add one file at a time. And yeah, 25 seconds there, that, that, uh, that is uh, quite slow. Um, and it actually didn't have to, but, but I don't think it would take any longer really if, if it would have to resize any of the images. Well, I know it resized one image by the way. She's both here. That is probably resized. Here we can see it's 287 kilobytes and uh, here it's 166 kilobytes. So it's larger, uh, the resize one, because this is actually uh, uh, not larger than this, but here it should have the. the it it says the same same size as my screen. Okay, we have our add to library thing going, very good, um, and we will execute this now when we pass the A uh, option. But as I mentioned quickly in the last video, it, the, we might also uh, do this if, if we uh, want to set a wallpaper that doesn't exist in the library. Then we first do that before we set the wallpaper. Um, okay, uh, next thing here uh, that the, we, we should take care of right away is this argument here it's a very it's kind of a special argument and this is like technology simplified you know uh, because under almost the more simple uh, something is uh, especially technology the more complicated the underlying code usually is you know 
So here, here we want to be able to execute BWP with the uh, wallpaper uh, action here, for example. And then wallpaper here, that can be either the, the path to a file, uh, full path like this. It can also just be the name of a file in the library. Like we can just write Acropoli here and that should work. And we, we should be able to write Acropoli.png. That should also work. Uh, and we can also add the R option, then it will take a random image here. And if we don't add any argument at all, it should use the uh, it should use the current wall uh, as the uh, target wallpaper. And if that doesn't exist, it should take a random wallpaper. So you can see there's a lot of stuff going on inside this uh, uh, little thing here, or it will be. And that's just to make it easy and simple to use, but we, we have to write uh, uh, a bunch of, of, of tests and code here to make sure that we really have a, a valid target wallpaper. And that's something we should do right away here. And when we have done so, it will be extremely easy to, to keep on uh, extending this script. And it's not that complicated either. But we only need to do this if the action is not A. Because A, it only accepts uh, a path to a file. It doesn't really accept uh, uh, the name of a file in the library. It's, it makes no sense to add an image to the library if it already exists. Now when I think about it also, uh, that could actually happen here. If, if, we, uh, if we do this again here, BWP add this uh, sleep weedians here, that uh, do exist now in our library the sleep videos here and if we execute this command it will just add it again uh, take that uh, long time or completely unnecessary since it's already there um, so we could add a test to see if it already exists uh, yeah, we could uh, do an ERX here, and, and, and uh, so, so we don't uh, accidentally copy. Um, TRG already exists in library. Try it now. It's weird. No, 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 no. We should use uh, AND here, because if that is true, there, now super fast, then we save some time, especially when you batch add a bunch, then you can have like, yeah, you get it. Th th this is kind of a good thing to have. But sometimes maybe you really, you want to, to regenerate the wallpaper. Maybe you, you, you have this automatic conversion thing going on and you can see you get some weird results and you edit the original image in, in GIMP or something and then want to add it again. And then you want to, you really want to overwrite uh, uh, the file uh, and here you will see a cool thing um, uh, the the normal thing to do you know is is to use the uh, or normal thing but but it's common practice to add to, to different programs for example cp you know you can uh, copy uh, source to target you know and if that already exists it will not do anything but it, if you have the f flag or sometimes force that will uh, always overwrite. That, that, that's like the common command line option to, to overwrite stuff is, is often F for force. So we could add that here. Uh, if, uh, so if, if, if target file already exists and uh, O, O, F. Uh, is not equal to one, meaning that the force flag is not set, then we exit out. Here I would like to do this. Uh, but right now we don't have this F option. We, it's not even in, in the in the uh, 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 documentation here. So we could add it first here. And we can add add that later. 
And then we to add that or add that option, we just have to add it here, and now that will work. Uh, so now if I try to add it, error that already exists. But if I add the the F flag here, now it it will overwrite it. So that's how easy it is now to add more options to to our to our script. Um, okay, okay, okay. Taking care of the wallpaper argument. This is kind of a heavy topic. Maybe yeah. Let's make a break here. And then we add add uh, make a video just for for this part. Okay. Thank you for watching, everybody. See you in the next video. Have a great day.